Hello, hi, I am Anil back in class 3 of HTML tutorials and today I am going to teach you about hyperlink. Uh, hyperlink is a concept which is used to link some other or external or outside of the links into the our website. I mean linking some other websites in our page is called hyperlinking and the text which is useful in the hyperlink is called hypertext I mean uh, I can show you the example of hypertext see this is this is the syntax of hyperlink a, a stands for anchor this anchor tag is useful to hyperlink this text with the URL which is provided in the href right now we don't have any URL in the href this is the syntax href stands for hyper reference which gives the url of the page to which we want to migrate or which we want to navigate and this target attribute also specifies whether the redirecting page should be opened in the self window or in a new window depending upon the target value the hyperlink page will be opened in respective of the target provider and title is sim simple and it is same as in image tag which displays the name of the text what we give in the title value that will be displayed when we hover our mouse over on the hypertext in the page this this is the syntax of hyperlinking and this is the text is called hypertext and this hyperlinking tag is a container tag which is having an opening and closing tag and in this tutorial I am going to teach you what is an, a hyperlink and how we can hyperlink and also the way in which we can open the hyperlink in a new window or in a self window we have three values like underscore new underscore value underscore blank and underscore self these two values are quite similar which opens in a new window and the self which specifies or which tells the browser to open the href location page or href href site in the self window by default if you won't provide any target value that will be opened in a self window that is the default value and coming to the body section if we provide these attributes like link equal to green v link equal to blue and a link equal to red these are the attributes for hyperlink the link link stands for normal link which is not activated or which is not visited i mean it's a fresh link if we open the page for the first time the link will be appeared in green color and V link stands for visitor link. Once the link has been visited or it has been clicked, then that will be turned into blue color. And A link stands for active link. At the time of pressing the link, it will be turned into red color. And when we release the mouse, left side of the mouse, we release the mouse, then it will turn into the normal blue color. These are the three attributes provided for hyperlink concept. Link is nothing but normal link for the first time and V link for the visitor link will be turned into blue color and active link at the time of clicking the link it will be turned into red color these values can be changed depending upon our requirements we can change the colors like green to blue blue to green blue to red red to blue that depends upon the requirement and coming to the graphical hyperlinking not only we can hyperlink the text we can also link the graphics like images in the place of text instead of text goes here we can place with an image also that also we are going to discuss today and finally in the image tag in the last class i have not said about v space and h space these two are the two new attributes today i'm going to discuss and the border attribute these are the three attributes today i'm going to discuss in this tutorial in this class and coming to the program 
here I already written the program the sample program and this is the comment section opening and closing and this line of code will not be displayed on the browser because it is a comment section program which specifies the name of the program for our own use or for our future purpose program on external hyperlink tag or anchor tag this is a program on external hyperlink or an anchor tag and hyperlinks are also can be done in two ways like external hyperlink and internal hyperlink today in this class we are going to discuss about purely about external hyperlinks and in class 4 we will be discussing about internal hyperlinks internal hyperlinks are also called as bookmarks or inline hyperlinks external hyperlinks in the sense we are going to hyperlink some other external sites in our site or in our web page we are going to link some other web, web, web some others web pages or websites urls in our web page that is called external hyperlink and today that we are going to discuss now that these these sections are familiar as we are which pretty much familiar with these two sections head section and body section in class 1 and class 2 and coming to this one this is the syntax of hyperlinking a href equals to double quotes target equals to double quotes title equals to double quotes and closing anchor tag opening anchor tag and closing anchor tag now we are going to place values in this href stands for hyper reference here we are going to give the url of the website like url in the sense uniform resource locator url stands for uniform resource locator uniform resource locator in the sense the address of the website uh, for example we can have google.com like http http colon slash slash www dot google dot com this is called url or another example of it is http colon slash slash www dot gmail dot com or http colon slash slash www dot facebook dot com this is another site these these are the examples of the urls u r l uniform resource locator based on the uniform resource locator we will redirect to, to the particular h referred value so now we are taking the first one as google.com copying it and we will go to the program here in place of href i am placing this one a a href equals to http colon slash slash www dot google dot com space and target i am giving as i already said about the target in this tutorial earlier that is underscore new underscore blank underscore self and we can give any one of these values uh, as of now i am giving underscore new i mean i just want to open this google dot com page in a new window not in the self window in which we are viewing the page and title as you all are much familiar with this one i am giving uh, this is the Go this website is about the google.com so we are going redirecting to google.com so i am giving the title as google and i am saving now this one i am going to the directory desktop this is the folder where i have created this one i am opening it it has opened but nothing is displayed on the web page because i have not given the hyper text here as of now i am giving some text like google save it switch back to mozilla firefox now refresh it you can see google now it is in blue color right and it is left top corner so i just want to make it center i am placing a center tag here c e n t e r center yes center now save it go it to e web browser and refresh it now it is in center okay right now i just want to change the colors yes now 
copy it go to hyperlink and place the code beside of the body now save it open it in browser and refresh it now see it is in green color this is in green color now now when i click it at the time of clicking it it turns into red and after click down it turns into blue color and it opens in a new window because i have given the target as underscore new now turn into red color and it open a new window now see it is it again turn into blue color now again when i click it it turns to red again blue red blue but it never changed to green because at the first time only it, it it will be shown in a green color because it is a link now at the time of clicking it is an active link and after click it, it becomes a visitor link this is the concept of attributes of link v link and active link now coming to explain the graphical hyperlinks i am placing this image tag here in in place of this google in place of google i just want to show something different like image or something like graphics so i just want to show image in place of this one i am placing this image tag i am uh, minimizing the font size to look everything in a single line now see image src equals to src is not provided because to fetch the location of the image from which directory we are going to take the image that is not provided here i am going to provide now and title is not provided alt is not provided alter alternate name and height is given as 50 width is given as 100 and border is given as 0 v space is given as this is the these are the two these are the three new attributes which i am going to discuss about today border for every image when we put it in hyperlink then border will be displayed with the blue color line when we not give it as zero it will be displayed in blue border if we give zero border will not be displayed and vertical space vertical space in the sense it gives some space from vertically upwards 50 pixels of space will be provided for the image from the top to bottom and horizontal space that is left to the image 50 pixel will be provided from the left and 50 pixel will be provided from the top for v space from the top and h space for the left so the image will be moved little bit uh, right side and bottom side with 50 pixel margin now i am going to place um now i am taking the image url this is the flowers copy and it's a jpeg here i am pasting the jpeg and title i am giving it as flower flowers and alternate name also flowers and height is 50 width is 100 border equal to i am not specifying any border now we will see later we will remove the border by giving it as zero now i have removed the border and also i am not giving this vertical space or something as of now i am removing everything and i am saving it now now it has been saved in in place of this google it will be replaced with an image once i refresh the page now it has been replaced now see flowers it has been flower when i click it it opens the google it has opened the google page now we will come back to the page and here I am giving this one border equal to 1 and I am saving it coming back to page see now it is uh, almost to the top it will come little bit down now when I refresh this page now it's see it, it has given 50 pixel margin from the top and 50 pixel margin from the left And this is what the external hyperlinking concept and I hope you enjoyed this video and keep watching my videos and thank you.